All right, we're here up in the final stage. So we're gonna go through some mixing techniques, kind of embellish things, make things look prettier. Just to start it off, I took all the channels and lowered the input volume so we would have more headroom in our master channel. Alright, so I'm going to keep following some good tips from Dan Gonzalez, very good friend of mine and also good person here up in Cakewalk as well, give me some really good mixing tips. I'm going to make use of a lot of the hybrid cues, that actually just the different cues we have from, that emulates a lot of analog gear in general, so I'll be using these freely as I swing by track by track. So big ups for Dancer showcasing me and showing me how to like do some really intelligent EQing when it comes to instrumentation. So here we go. Put on some saturation. It's gonna be our main element, so I wanna make sure this is popping. What I mean by popping is that frequencies are in the right spot. I cut away anything I don't need from it, so low ends get shelved off. Use a touch screen as well. Move these side to side, which feel pretty cool. feel a lot of that resonant frequency there so I'm going to now lower the level once I find where our sweet spot is 